Hey guys, so this is going to be my weekly what I've been melting video. I have a shed ton here to talk to you about. I don't know why, but I'm just going to get on with it. I have my tea next to me, just in case my voice goes again. For some reason that seems to be happening. So I'm going to go on into the empties first. I haven't got my notes because they're all on my phone as usual, but I'll try and remember what I can. So, let's just move everything. So, as usual... First things first are my Morrison's cotton marbles. I always use these to clean out my melter. They seem to work a lot more than normal cotton marbles because they are the baby version. Um, but yeah, they'll always be in an empties if I've got them. First one I've got here is Barbie and Ken by Milk and Cookie Candles Company. I will be completely honest, this was poured in March 2016. And it has no scent purely because of that. I think the scent went it was only a sweet sort of cookie scent anyway um but i didn't get any throw from this i i melted the whole thing as well so that could have been part of the problem um, next one i got is tiffany's sliceable rose in apple mango tango and watermelon i've said this before in my reviews but i don't get any scent from her sliceable roses i i don't know what i'm doing wrong whether i'm melting too much or whatever um but this one was just literally to melt through it. I, I didn't get any scent from it. I did melt a combination of the Omar's Wax House Watermelon and Tiffany Candles at uh, Tiffany VCS Bluebird Cafe in Fresh Pitch Strawberries. Um, these two together, I love these. I said it in my last review that I had one more section of this together. Um, the watermelon does water down the Bluebird Cafe a little bit, but it's still quite strong and it's a very fresh, fruity scent, perfect for spring. This one you guys wouldn't have seen in a very long time. I melted my last little bits of Melted Confections, the Dauphine. Um, I can't remember what was in this scent, but this was amazing. I loved this so much. Um, this company actually shut down, so I can't buy this anymore, but it's a lovely floral scent, this one. Sad to see it go, but I do have it in my next month's melting as well. So that's the last little bit of that gone. A new to me vendor was Dairy Aircrafts in pink chiffon lavender birthday cake. I melted this at my boyfriend's mum's and this was amazing for a nighttime melt. I didn't know whether it would be too bakery to be melting at night time but it was absolutely amazing. You didn't really get the birthday cake, it was more the pink chiffon and lavender so it was a more perfumey scent. It was a medium to high throw and I absolutely love this one. I've been searching for that company a lot more now. I finished up for another clam in my project clam and this is Orange is the New Black from Super Tart which is orange juice, burnt marshmallows and pomegranate. Now this one I can completely say I just get orange juice from this. It's such a nice sweet scent. The marshmallows probably does cool it down a little bit but it's really nice. The, the orange in this is so nice. This one is one of her clams that went really soft um, and this is one of the ones that I've bought recently as well actually so it's, it's quite strange that that happened um, but I will be mounting more of that in my coming challenges as well and then the last empty I have here is a very sad one indeed for me this is Beezy Tarts and this is in my favourite scent Peach Margarita I absolutely love this scent I will forever be trying to buy this um, now that I have a My More box you'll be seeing a lot more hauls and I'm going to try and get Peach Margarita again the next time I see it up this is an amazing scent, uh, it's one that I've always loved and I've got it from different vendors as well so it reminds me of um, orange lollies as a kid and it's just so nostalgic that I love it. It's a sad one to see go that one. So that was all my empties, not as many as I'd have hoped but I've got quite a lot of things that I actually melted through as well. So the first one I've got here is oh, VCS Deep Slumber and this is pink sugar, lavender, vanilla and honey. I don't have much of this left actually. It is a very nice scent to unwind to. Um, you get a lot of the lavender, the sweetness of the honey and then the pink sugar fragrance as well. I don't necessarily get the vanilla but I think that just cools it down a little. Um, it's one of my favourite scents and I'm sad to see that I've only got a few little bit chunks left. Um, the other ones I've melted is Star Lord by Super Tarts. I purely put this on 
um, because we started watching Dad into the Galaxy and then the next night I wanted to melt Star Lord. This is shaving cream, cream soda and lingonberry jam. I have no idea what lingonberry jam is, but the cream soda and the shaving cream in this so nice. This will be a great blend if you've got a headache as well. Shaving cream seems to help me if I've got a headache. Maybe a bit more sunlight there. This one I will always repurchase. This is actually going into my um, melting bin now that I've only got one more melt left there. So that'll be another empty suit. This is one of the scents that I melted on Easter Sunday. This is Southbound Berry Truffles. This is a creamy white chocolate truffle filled with a strawberry berry, berry filling. I melted half of this, which actually had a bit of section cut off as well. This is an amazing scent. If you don't love chocolate, you wouldn't love this. I love this scent. I, I never thought I would love chocolate as much as I love this. It's a gorgeous scent and you get the sweetness of the berries as well. And to me it's more like a strawberry than, than any other berry. One of my favourites. Absolutely love that and would buy it again if she made it again. I also melted VCS Tea Room, and the tea room is almond tea cake, orange and black tea. This is one of my favourite scents from VCS, even though it's considered a bakery. I have one bit left here, and then I do have a three pack from a friend as well. This one, to me, is not bakery at all, really. It's orange and black tea to me, and you do get the almond note. So if you don't like almonds, you probably wouldn't like this scent, but I do. I find that this one is nice. The almond and the orange mixed with that tea scent really go well, but I don't get this bakery tea, uh, bakery cake at all. One of my favourites, and again, it will be gone soon. It's also going into my melting box. Next one I've got is Tiffany Candles Cactus and Sea Salt. I did melt this last week, and I also melted it this week when I wanted a sort of perfumey, clean note in the morning. This one is very nice. I've never tried Cactus and Sea Salt before the last two weeks, and it's going to be a staple, I think. I've also got this from VCS, so I will be trying this in VCS wax as well. But this one is, a, so far, a very good perfumey. This one's actually a medium to strong crow compared to everything else as well. Here I have Black Label the White Rabbit. So I did melt the half heart that I had here. The White Rabbit is Mac Apple Shave Cream. I pop this on when I have headaches. Um, I did have another headache recently and I didn't pop this on because I didn't want to use up this last bit before opening my new bag. So hopefully I can use this when I don't have a headache recently but it seems to be headache time at the moment. So that one will probably be gone soon as well in the next week. Another one I have melted was Tiffany Candles in Lavender, Cotton Candy, Peach Margarita and Raspberry. This one I didn't get anything from. I think I was melting it in the wrong melter. I had it in a, I think it's even a 15 or a 20 watt compared to my Glade which is a 24 watt. Um, I didn't get anything from it so I had to literally just let it melt out and dump it. Um, so I'm hoping I can melt this in my 24 watt and it will be a lot different. A lot more different. The next one I've got here is Friar Lawrence's Potion by DCS. Now this one has a lot of scent notes. This is cucumber, mint, salty sea air, eucalyptus and spearmint. And this actually made me sneeze quite a lot. I can imagine if you do have nasal, nasal problems this would really work well. Because the eucalyptus, spearmint, the mint and the cucumber. The cucumber gave it a little bit of a watery note which was actually quite nice. Made it a bit fainter. Um probably one I'm going to try again. Um, I melted this at Luke's mum's as well um, and I'm going to try it in my own room as well just to see what I think about it. Coming down to the last three, another one I have melted recently is Tiffany Candles in Sweet Dreams. I have just recently repurchased this in this four ounce again because I have got to the halfway mark. Um, I love this scent. This is sweet pea and lavender and I'm so sad it's got that far. But this is a really strong thrower. It's such a relaxing nighttime scent. If you haven't tried it yet, you really need to. The sweet pea doesn't make it floral. It just relaxes it a little bit more and makes the lavender a little more a little bit, bit more relaxing. One of my favourites. I'm so glad I've repurchased it. And another one I've melted, and this is Rose Girl's Lavender Zen. This was in her pie slices. This was a half pie, but I did split this with a friend, and we both took two quarters, uh, a quarter each. 
I literally just stick a fork in and take the top end off and that is enough for me in my room. Rose Girls really doesn't need a lot of um, wax to make a good throw. This one was a very watery lavender. Zen is a very spa note. Um, mixed with that lavender it made it very very watery. Um, it's a very nice scent. Glad I've got two pie chunks in it and it's going to take a very long time to melt that one. And the last one, I don't know if I'm really going to get it in the camera shot. Um, it's such a big loaf. So this is a VCS loaf. It's massive, beautiful colours. Oh yeah, I don't know if you can see the colours there. This is Atlantic City Roses with Art Deco Overpour. And Art Deco is one of my favourite scents. Um, this loaf was actually gifted to me by a friend because she knows that I wanted to get some more Art Deco and I've got so much of it here that it's going to last me forever. I'm currently melting this one and it is a really sweet floral, not floral, but kind of girly scent. Um, uh, Art Deco, which is the overpour, is pomegranate watermelon and you can really smell that. It is so fruity, but that Atlantic City, I can't remember what's in it and I think that's what's making it really girly because I did put a whole little piece, like, chunk of a rose in it with it as well. Um, so I think that's what's making it girly. But I'm so glad I've got literally a whole loaf there as well. So that is my what I've been melting for I think must be the last week and a half. I really haven't got onto the camera to be able to <laughs> record this for you. Um, but I'm here now. It's done. Hopefully again the next week I will have lots more empties. My spring melt box is really getting low. So I'm going to do another video in a minute. And just update you guys on how how it's going what i've got left and what i'm also adding in so thank you for watching this one and i'll see you soon bye guys